I got it recording. Okay, we're running with the Bimini top up. We've got 24 to 25 feet distance between the two floats and a 24 foot limited or 242 limited. Not in the no wake mode, just idling to demonstrate how maneuverable the boat is with the Cobra Venom steering on it. be zigzagging through these very precise yeah very precise steering on it and we've got a pretty good wind coming out of our east there we go and as close as these markers are to the boat I don't think you can even see them once he gets close to them Straighten out right there. Yeah, you're like an inch from it. There you go. That's, That's fine. Side. Yeah, I know you can't see it. Um, so we're pivoting out of it right now. I can right. Tell. So we've got all kinds of control over this boat with the standard Venom steering mounted in the full engaged position. The next, we're going to put it into the no wake mode. Keep in mind, we got a pretty good wind coming in here, and it's uh, pushing this bimini top. So, trying, trying to duplicate what the average person would experience driving a bigger jet boat with the steering added to it. Okay, straight now. And these markers, like they're blind to him. Once they get on the side of the boat, he can't even see it. So. See the wake. See that we're traveling right in between these very precisely. I'm going to go through them backward. All right. We put some like little kids in the water to make it dangerous. <laughs> I guess that's no. Now if you, uh, I don't know if you, I know you're short, but if you stand up, you might see the markers. <laughs> Take a little longer in reverse, especially with the wind pushing us. You got it in idle or in the fast I'm mode? Idle. Probably need to put it in the no wake mode, and we can do with this wind. Yeah. Okay. 